In Mafia 3's Sign of the Times DLC, there's an optional mission where you can upgrade and renovate Sammy's bar that was burned down by Sal Marcano. When you upgrade the upstairs builder's room, this painting appears. This painting features a bald man in a purple suit named Scott Brassballs Moro. This painting is unique, one of a kind in the game and brings a lot of questions such as who is this man? Well the game actually lets you read the plaque that's below the painting and it says the following. When this English man showed up with his pool cue in hand, we thought we'd be taking every dollar to his name. But the moment he took his first shot and the signature smirk crawled across his face, we all knew we were in the presence of greatness. No one ran a table with the same style and humor as Brass Bowls. And when the talk got steeped in Creole, he'd fire away a wry smile and a quick speak the Queen's motherfuckers before buying everyone around. We were lucky he decided to call Sammy's home. We were lucky to call him our brother. And we've lost him way too soon. You're a legend mate, and we'll never forget you. It seems the man in the painting, Scott Morrow, aka Brass Balls, was a real person and he died. This painting in Mafia 3's DLC is a tribute to him by his friends and colleagues. From the painting, we can see he's wearing a purple suit, so maybe purple was his favorite color. And he's smoking a cigar with a ring finger, so maybe he was married and left behind a family. Also in his left hand, he's holding a pool cue. And the plaque did mention he was great at pool, and he is in the builder's room in Sammy's bar, a very fitting location. I looked up Mafia 3's credits and sure enough his name was found. 2K International Product Development, International Producer Scott Morrow. It looks like he worked for 2K Games as an international producer. And when I played Mafia Definitive Edition for the first time, I noticed that Scott was also in the game, but in a different painting. If you played Mafia Definitive Edition, then you definitely came across this painting. In Mission 11, Visiting Rich People, there's a prosecutor on Morello's payroll, and he has incriminating evidence about Salieri's family involvement in Billy's death, who was the son of the city councilor. In Mission 11, Visiting Rich People, Don Salieri instructs Tommy to meet Salvatore, a safe-cracking expert, and get rid of the incriminating evidence. And it's inside a safe, and the safe is hidden behind the many paintings in the city councilor's villa. The safe is ultimately behind a unique painting, and this painting features Scott Morrow. Unlike the Mafia 3 version, this one has no words underneath it, but it is a newer version of the painting. And in this painting, Scott Brassbowles Morrow is wearing a fedora, and his suit isn't as purple as the previous painting. Scott is not listed in the credits for Mafia Definitive Edition, but it seems his team still wanted to remember him. It's possible that he passed away during the development of Mafia 3. And that solves the mystery of who this man in the painting was in Mafia 3 and Mafia Definitive Edition. I personally think that this was a very nice gesture for his friends and colleagues to do, to immortalize him in the game he worked on in Mafia 3. Late heart seen dark, silvery moon is shining through the trees, cast to me you. Sound of kisses floating on the breeze Act one